This tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Let's get started with animation. Sometimes I wonder why important things are hidden so well in the user interface of Maya. Now we're in Maya 2019 and still when you want to render a tune you have to go a very complicated path. Let me just briefly show you. This tutorial is not about this, it's a, about another complicated thing. Let's move the sphere to the front here, make it really big. When we render the scene now, Arnold render, there's a uh, physical sky wrapping around the scene now. We right mouse click here, assign a new material, Arnold AI Tune, that's the tune shader, and when we re-render it, we get basically the same image and nothing tunish about this sphere. The sphere should have a black outline, for example, as a default which it doesn't have. In order to get the tune working with the outline you need to go to the render settings. They are here. So that's the first step. First, Actually the second. The first one is assigning the AI tune shader. The second one is this click here. Uh, the third one is go to Arnold Render. The fourth one is open the filter section. The fifth one is changing that from Gaussian to Contour. Secret science and now re-render it. I think it was six steps now. Now you see the outline appear here and of course you can modify it and I made several tutorials about this really excellent tune shader once you get it running here. But today I'm, I'm going to show you something another thing which is hidden. Let's delete this and now let's render this. When Arnold renders a scene, it cleans up pixels all the time. It um, refines the rendering step by step. And w when we have a sample here of three, it basically creates shadows and basic illumination effects in three passes. So it's cleaning up pixels up to a certain degree. If we want to have less noise here, noisy pixels, we need to crank up the resolution here, which is basically here. It's this value 3. When we pump it up to 4, rendering will take at least double time. And for diffuse, specular, transmission, subsurface, scattering, volume, in indirect, you have uh, other values which you can uh, raise and this will increase render time dramatically. So you see Arnold is still cleaning up pixels here. This is a subsurface scattering object and the reflections here are quite all right but there's a lot of noise on the floor and on the bottom of this object here now they're being cleaned up that's the process we're used to from Arnold and it's almost finished now I guess cleaning up the pixels here and there and in just a second we'll see the time it took to render this image and with this pretty low resolution. So 1 minute and 19 seconds. Now there's still some grain in here and some grain in here but basically we can get an impression of this image. Now where is the hidden treasure I want to show you? It is here. View and enable AOVs. Let's do that. Nothing changes. What is an AOV by the way? Lots of things about AOV here in the my documentation. Create AOV overrides with render setup, etc. But the explanation is here in the Wikipedia, and uh, it is arbitrary output vari variable, a feature of RenderMan. It's a feature of Arnold as well. So <laughs> this is what what we're dealing with today. It's cleaning up the pixels, and uh, it will take a uh, well basically the same time 1 minute and 19 seconds and uh, we've activated enable AUVs and now we have a subsection here called AUVs beauty and we're rendering the beauty that's the same thing as before we just changed the menu entry 
which doesn't have an effect uh, otherwise. Now we go to the render settings. If you don't have, if you've closed this window, go back to this icon here. It opens the render settings. Just next to Arno Renderer is System. In the system, you see your graphics card, and in my case, it's a GeForce GTX 1070. I think it's a mid range graphics card probably about 500 euros or something like that uh, by Nvidia and uh, I think it's important to have an Nvidia card but this is the AUV section here and in the AUV section I think this is the third or fourth click now we open the denoiser section and here we open the optics denoiser and now we activate Denoise Beauty AUV. And Maya still does the same as before, so no change has happened, although we ticked this on here, Denoise Beauty. And now we need to go back here, View and to AOV and RGBA Denoise. Isn't that tricky? What happens now? goes in massive s steps. It doesn't clean up pixels uh, one segment of the image after the other. It's ready now. I mean it's still indicating that it's not ready but basically we have a very nice uh, um, impression of the subsurface scattering etc. And when we move in the scene now, for example like this, this is a really hard work for a renderer. And we're now in the Denoise Beauty optics denoiser settings we get a very fast um, rendering compared to the 1 minute and 19 seconds rendering it will just change in a second and we have a, a, an excellent image right here let's move to the other side All the reflections are here and the subsurface scattering is represented here and we'll see it in just a second. Here it is. It's not perfect. It's kind of too soft but uh, it's, a, it's a massive step forward really for rendering and pre-evaluation. done. Too soft but a very very nice impression of how the shading works in this context. So again when you want to activate that denoising option here you need to go to the AOV section in the Arnold render uh, section here in the rendering settings basically and um, in the AOVs you activate the optics denoiser which I guess only works with NVIDIA graphics cards. You have an Arnold uh, denoiser down here as well and uh, I haven't tried it out yet. So um, in order to get this running you need to go to view here in the actual render view, enable the AOVs and then change it from beauty to RGBA denoise. When I go back to beauty I get a similar image, maybe a little bit more crispy but it takes ages to render. And having said this, I wish you a very good day. Bye-bye.